Oh, there's scrap. Most excellent. And a puppy. Hey, puppy, how are you? What? What's going on? You got to get out of the street. He, hey, I'm his second best friend. How you doing, man? Hey, thanks for. Uh, I think your neighbor let me know that this was well, here. I had an. I had, you should have came here yesterday because I had like two more out here. And what? Stuff, but this guy came and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that one there's got. That's like good. A, it's got a busted. Uh, it's not nothing wrong with the motor. Motor's okay. good. All right. Blade and everything. I think it's just got a slight bend in the shaft or something. Okay. It was my neighbor. She hit the part of the water pipe and she was going to throw it in the garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, well, there's nothing wrong with it. So I've just had it in my shed for the last couple of summers. I meant to get to it, but I never did. Yeah, dude, we're all like, we got projects. We got projects, but you know, we, don't, we got a lot of stuff going on, you know? Yeah. Winston, come here. That's a good looking puppy. I just appreciate you picking it up. Yeah, thank you. For I'll grab the gate too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. This thing's, this thing's a. A back saver, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's an old pizza sign that I found in the in the dumpster. I do. Yeah, let me grab it. Okay. We won't know what else to do with it. And I'd rather give the stuff away than try to finagle for twenty yeah, yeah. bucks or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. You yeah. I, mean? I appreciate. It. Give me a call and. He got stuff. Winston, come on. He's like, that's an open door. I'm yeah. going. Time for a ride. Hopefully someone can use this hose. I'm not gonna grab it, but I will grab no, you this stuff. Down I thought the guy was gonna take it yesterday. I had another uh, hose, reel, and right. some other stuff, but I always have stuff. Yeah, yeah, put it out the curb, man. You know, it's one well, of us no, will grab it. Your card, I'll put it on the fridge, because I literally have like downstairs, I just put in a whole new kitchen and everything. Okay. My mom or her mom might be coming to stay with us. So okay. That's the next week has like 29 degrees. Yeah. Well, you know, it's yeah, it might even hit like 70 tomorrow. Really? Yeah, that's what they're saying. All right, man, see you. And I got a call from the bike couple. They said they have some scrap for me. All right. I think I can hear you say, hey, that folds up, you know. your head. So which one's next? Have thought this through. I don't know. That's still kind of. Whenever I stack stuff vertically, um, it can pose a problem with uh, you know driving through places if it's 10, 11, 12, 13 feet tall. I know you can do highways. Well, hi, kitty, kitty. What's happening? You good? He's like, I'm good. Just doing my thing. Looking for some hot lunch. But yeah, I think I'm gonna not go vertical. Um, I'm partial vertical, how's that? Let's go diagonal. That'll be the theme. Let's load diagonal. <laughs> It's a trombone. <laughs> and 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I see two nice pallets. Ooh, that one's broken. Yeah, so this wouldn't be good as a product pallet for me to give to my scrapyard because it's damaged. So, but this is a good 48 by 40 four-way pallet that they don't want anymore. But my scrapyard certainly can use. Stay. So I got an email from Larry at church. He said, hey, got some scrap for you. He said it was a, a sign in the parking lot got ran over. And then he said some picture hangers and they're in the, in the dumpster area. But I was like, I'm guessing it's a sign like that. I don't know. And picture hangers, what is that? That's, that's not a picture hanger. That's aluminum. Ooh, good stuff. We're going diagonal. Yeah, I should tie this up. I think that is aluminum. I don't want the wind closing this on me. Because some of these, I don't know if you, with the holes, that the wind can close them and it'll drop. And some of the handles are on the outside and you, you can get locked in here. You don't want to see me trying to climb a fence. Oh, what's going on in here? Yeah, it's not a pretty sight. These are the box elder bugs I was talking about. Ooh. Actually, let's see, I think that's galvanized steel. Yeah, I don't think that's, um, that's aluminum at all. Nope, steel. Steel is the meal, though. That's for sure. Cool. Glad they called me. Or actually emailed me. cloudy just within the last hour or so. They said no chance of rain. Oh, that looks rainy to me. Hi, Perry. See some scrap on a curb. Oh, that's some good scrap. It's a garage door opener. Freeze frame. You know, I might take this to my house. Part of my pallet fort. Uh-oh. That's all one piece. Hi, Rufus. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. <laughs> Chain still attached. Trying to not handle that chain. Guess I could have used the leaves, huh? Leave it to plaw. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't help myself. All right, gonna drop the pallet off. All right, maybe this will be the first part of my my pallet fort. 
I mean, I don't want to use broken pallets. And if this is 40 inches, this is 48. So 48 is four feet. So I could have three wide. And if the walls are gonna be sideways like this, so four, 40, 80, 120, 120 is 10 feet. So it'd be 10 feet on the inside. And then three that way and three this way. If it's three this way, that'd be four, eight, 10, I don't know, what's that? Four feet and four, this would be 12 feet. So it'd be 12 feet by uh, 10 feet by 10 feet high. I like that. I think I'm gonna have these as my my roof, metal roof, right the walls. This is coming from someone that has no construction experience or wherewithal, no sense. But you know what? That's what I want. I want to make a fort that doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like when I how I load the truck full of scrap, just willy nilly. And not only am I okay with that, it's by design. My lack of design is by design. Well, I'm here at the house. Might as well take Olivia out for a quick walk. You want to go out? Want to go potty? Okay. Let's go. You're so pretty. <laughs> so this plant that I found is doing way better since I chopped off the dead parts. So it's really coming alive. This plant, which I got out of the bank dumpster, it's doing its second new leaf. Yeah. Uh-oh. Look at that clock. I better hurry up. Maybe the weatherman's is right. Sun's coming out. I can't tell if that's blue sky or not. It might be. Nice. That looks comfy. I think I saw a music stand. Hello, sir. How are you? I think I've seen you on YouTube. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good, good. I see a music stand. You got a different uh, truck. Yeah, yeah. I had a blue truck for a while. Yeah. Yeah, so now I got a big red truck. So a guitar stand, and this is a, a snare drum. A I'm not sure. Yeah, that's for a snare drum, and this is for a music stand. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So how you been doing at it? Good? Good, yeah, yeah. Just running around trying to find some stuff on the curb. So you're going right. to take this, aren't you? No, uh, no. It's, oh, I thought you were going to take it. No, I was thinking about it, but no, I'm just going to take this. I'll let someone else grab it that can use it. Because there's a... There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, that. someone will use it. There's no doubt, especially because it's, it's, the, the height is just right. It's perfect. You know? My wife, my wife is, you can use it if you want, like... I need room just to get my car back. Uh, yeah, especially with winter starting, you know, because I mean, we might have some nice days this next couple of days, but it's going to go south from there quick. What do we got going on here? Thank you. See, this neighborhood is awesome. They give out the goodies. New dent. <laughs> Thanks again. What? That's my kind of scrap right there. It looks brand new. I, I have to say, I see a lot of Samsung on the curb. Hmm. Really? Let's 
be an outage. Bicycle's got to move. Uh oh, scrap is sticking. Got that sticky scrap. Got the cord. Oh no, it's them feet. Oh, <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Sorry, that was just kind of funny. What? That's aluminum, dude. Huh. That's like some type of particle board. So is that. It's kind of cool. But this. That's aluminum. Alright. You're riding up front. Perfectly good motorcycles on the curb? I hear honks. All right. Scrabbers Union says I need to take a 20 seconds of tranquility. Sup, my gooses? But I do want to tie that down. But it's union rules. breaks over <laughs> so my nephew graduated Navy boot camp and uh, so <laughs> I went to his graduation and we hung out for the rest of the day and uh, first thing I did was give him a rope I'm sorry I, you have to call it a line in the Navy I gave him a piece of line and said all right I want to see a bowling knot man immediately he was like all right so the rabbit comes out of the tree around the around the tree and back down the hole. I was like, man, he knew what he was talking about. Yeah, I just wanna secure this a little bit. 
Really? What's up? With... There we go. Let's go this way. Yeah, we'll do it one more time. So yeah, so the bullet knot is definitely the king of knots. But the clove hitch, that is, that's pretty convenient. Because it's not even a knot. It's just a hitch. Scrap metal, pallets, and scarecrow. That's what I pick up. That looked bigger than our average chair. Ooh. All right. Gonna go right there. I think maybe. I think yes. Perfect. All right, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you for letting me know. All right, wonderful. Wonderful, thanks, man. Yeah, I gotta get that headlight. It... What's that? Um, yeah, I, I can take one. Yeah, if you if you don't want it, I can scrap it. All right, thank you, sir. That's right. a little vacuum cleaner, but I don't know if you. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Hey, I feel like there's some tools in here. All right, thank you, sir. Still works kind of, not a whole lot of suction to it. Okay, thank you. Yep. Appreciate you. I barely saw this as I was driving past. Those are golf clubs. Rusty old golf clubs coming to me. Yeah, these <laughs> look like they've been in a, a basement flood. Cool. Paul, those are worth so much. Nope, they're worth about Two dollars of scrap metal. Two bucks. Two bucks is two bucks. Yes. Yes, please. This is turning out to be a really good day. That's not tools. Those are tire poppers and a belt buckle. It's probably brass. Yep. Oh, no, there's some steel in there. Hmm. Yeah. Man, it's only 431 and the sun is almost down. But we are in standard time now, which I I want, I would love to see the day. I would love to live to see the day that standard time is just the time, no more time change, twice a year. Twice a year. Yeah. Because if we leave the time change now, well, I should, I'm a morning person. So if we stay in standard time, that like, like in the summertime, um, the sun comes up at 520. If we stayed standard time, the sun would be coming up a little bit past 4 in the morning. I'm totally cool with that. 
Yeah, and that's the only thing is that the daylight saving time is, is all about having an extra hour of sunlight in the evening. I don't know, does it really need to be sunlight until 9 p.m.? As a morning person, no. <laughs> but I guess I'm not in the majority. Most people are not morning people. But I am, I'm like, it, it's ridiculous how good I feel in the morning. Actually, this whole day's been great. Thanks God for a great day. I had a person <laughs> say to me uh, recently that time is just made up by people. And I'm like, mm, time isn't, clocks are. And uh, which is, you know, cause I go by the the circadian rhythm, the, the sun, you know, cause I'm, I'm up, you know, a little bit before the sun comes up and I go out scrapping and I usually time my evening scrapping if I'm gonna go evening scrapping two hours before the sun goes down no matter what time it is but uh, they were telling me they said no time is just made up by man I'm like no you your stomach doesn't care what the clock says <laughs> your stomach is gonna tell you every single day cells will tell you lifespan will tell you um, nature absolutely goes by um, time so that's that's it's just not, not a valid argument. Literally six minutes until sunset. What is this? Is this electric? <laughs> it is. <laughs> not sure what I'll do with it. That's a helium tank. Those are toys. <laughs> you know what? Just in case someone will use it, I'm going to leave that out. One more neighborhood to go, but it's getting dark. That doesn't even look real. Seriously. That looks like a fake backdrop, a computer. That's AI. There's an AI sunset. Like, seriously. All right, I gotta turn this off. All right, I'm taking the camera off my head. Here, you get to take a look at an AI sunset. That's crazy. That's like crazy crazy. Bert! How am I gonna get this in the truck? Seriously? Hmm. Of course, it happens at sunset. Seriously, that doesn't even look real, bro. All right, not sure how this is gonna work out, but it's gonna work out. I was hoping. Speed it up. Literally, it's getting darker and darker. Now, I guess the only thing. <laughs> Yucky. I don't want to paint myself in a corner right here. That's still not going to work.
refrigerator no matter what. It's gonna have to be with the tailgate down. Yep. Yeah, it's not gonna fit right there. It just isn't. Well, actually, that space too. Cool. I'm stepping on. That's gonna be a problem, dude. Man, it only needs to go that far. I know there's better ways of doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do out in the field. Not enough light. All right, so that's gonna be one. I'm gonna do a second ratchet strap. Blocking driveways, Plaw. I know, huh? huh? Should I? I can go there, yeah. much uh, light left but I am gonna put this into the trash
All right, so I got my aluminum here. Man, you got dark quick. So I don't know. I'm thinking about taking the two appliances off right now and then scrapping in the morning. Or the only other thing I can do is, is wait until the scrapyard opens at 7.30. Yeah, I think it's 7.30, which is over an hour after the sun rises. It, because here's what I don't want to do is go driving around like this. Um, yeah. yeah, even though it's it's securely fastened <laughs> to the truck, it's um. If I just take th these two appliances off here, I can close the tailgate and I can go get more scrap. Go to the scrapyard tomorrow, then at a different time, deal with these two appliances. I don't know. I think I'll sleep on it. Let's pick up this operation in the morning. Good morning. Yeah. So I took the two appliances off because I have a feeling I'm going to find some more stuff. So, yeah, let's go do that. First stop in this uh, windy morning. I think I'm hallucinating. Is that copper sticking out of the trash can? Hmm. I don't know what this is. That, that might be copper. That might be cool. No way. <laughs> All right, is this copper? Nope, that's steel. It just looks like copper. Is that cool or what? Uh-oh, it's a little off balance. Whew. All right, have the wind stop it. Straighten this out a little bit. You know what? This is kind of cool. You know what? I think the... Hmm. Yeah, I kind of like this thing. I'm going to keep it. Morning, Ralph. Morning, Star. Okay, whenever I see a bathroom remodel, I definitely want to take a look in the trash. Because there might be copper might be in that bag right there where's the copper at hmm lots of toys <laughs> that's not what's in that bag <laughs> this neighborhood is awesome recycle dude's already been here dude that is so heavy why are you so heavy heavy dude Yeah, $34, okay, I like it, I like a lot. That tree hasn't lost any of its leaves yet. What's up with that? Now that's my dumpster ladder. <laughs> it's singing to me. Now this is kind of thick. Fill her up. Huh. This guy's bench is still there, but all the stuff that was in these bins is gone. All right, so there's someone out here picking. That's good. I think it's metal. I think it's aluminum metal. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna say steel. No. Not. You're riding up front. Wait a minute. I haven't clipped any cords. 
Oh, really? Hmm. Tell me scrap metal. Thanks for putting it out. Southerly wind, that's why it's warm today. Should I snip the cord? Some of the, the vacuum folks they get upset when I snip cords on stuff that could be working. So I'm gonna leave the old Dyson alone. Hopefully someone can use it. It's looking good. I still have a couple, um, not magnets, but the stickers to put on there. Um, yes, please. What are they? They're bike holders. The side of the truck. It's gonna bolt them down right there. Look good. I have no clue what these could possibly be for. They're for bikes, Paul. Duh. Self raking leaves. I like it. I really don't know what this is. Is it an air conditioner? Is it a refrigerator? What you be? It's, it's a refrigerator that goes into one of these things. It's like a, a propane, I don't know. It's scrap metal, that's what it is. So we go right here. and it comes apart it's metal yeah that's a refrigerator yeah it, it can be a propane refrigerator the laws of thermodynamics works with just change of temperature evaporation or heat and exchange and all that stuff I don't the reason why I think it's propane yeah gas AC push to start Thanks for reminding me. If we can get to it. Just laying in the road? Okay. I'll take it. my coffee maker all right I'm gonna be pretty optimistic here I'm gonna say 7,200 pounds total weight 
and I don't know, maybe 7,300, I don't know. 600 pounds total. Hurt. 7,260. 7,260. Whoa. What am I going to dump? Wow. They cleaned this all out. Hey. It's my buddy Justin. Alright, I'm going to wait for the forklift to kind of be out of my way. Maybe not. I'm not sure what he's up to. I can hear him buzzing around. Oh, there's a worker. Woman. this place out. He's honking to somebody. You know what? I'm going to park right here. Man, you guys are clearing up. It's all cleaned up. Oh, this one? Okay, yeah. Oh, I should have untied. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go untie right now. Uh-oh. Thank you, sir. Someone said in the comment section, hey, if someone wants to help you unload the truck, let them. They're there to help. Yeah, but I'm a dude and I'm a sinful guy that has pride. Oh, I don't I gotta work on it. But yeah, I've always had a problem, like, especially in early recovery, like asking for rides to AA meetings and, cause I don't know, for four years, I didn't even have a driver's license. You know, so, pride's, pride's a, it's a tricky one. It is. Are you sticking to this? Dude, no. Why are you sticking? Wow. Huh, really? Whatever. Sticky scrap. dump trailer yep. 
have to pretty much take the strap off opposite of how you put it on. This isn't regular dust. It's like rust dust. <laughs> and that's steel. All right, what's... Some of this stuff has... Yeah. Things I should have clipped off, probably. Hmm. This is gonna be a mess. Told ya. is attacking. Both of those fans were stuck to other scrap. Almost done. Getting closer. We're good. Let's go get paid. Wow, they have cleaned this place up. on the scale? I think so. Is that Michael?
He's on the phone. I'm waiting for a green light or for Michael to give me the thumbs up. I have no idea how much this weighs. Hey, is this my new Dodge Dakota waiting for me? Hey, hey, what's up, man? Yeah. Hey, hey, good morning. How's your, how's your morning going? Pretty dusty out there, man. I was gonna say, it's really nice outside. <laughs> it is, right? It's the temperature really nice. is a wonderful, yeah. You know, for... It's super, it's super, like, super nice. For November, man, it's like, what, it's 70 nice degrees? all day out there. I'm totally okay with it. I'm with it. I am. The rusty dust is not so fun, though. Yeah, I tried to call you when I dropped that because I didn't know what you were going to have me. Yeah, I didn't have anything. I believe you're going to be on the left. What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. I put the wrong way to I'm sorry. What? You put down 3,000 pounds? I was going to pay you for 22, 2200 pounds. What? Yeah, that's kind of hard for someone to believe those 2200 in my truck. That'd be squatting, boy. Have you ever seen a like a regular pickup truck with like, have you ever seen a regular pickup truck with like a, a ton, literally 2000 pounds of scrap? I've seen a truck in a trailer for 8,000 pounds. How many? 8,000. Eight? No, that's four tons. That's squatting. Like a little, like your truck with the trailer. Wow. Go ahead and sign. That's, that's it a, a... It was a Dodge Cummins. I don't know much about trucks. It was a big truck. Yeah, yeah. But it was a small trailer, <laughs> but it was pulling a lot of weight. Uh-uh. So I think that was the most interesting one I've seen coming Okay. No, probably not. I, I don't know anything about trailers, actually. Oh, man, thanks. I'll see you around, Michael. Yeah, I don't know anything about trailers. I know there's like the tongue weight when it's sitting on the trailer. There's, yeah, thanks, God. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this scrap. Thank you for great people. Oh, Lord, help me with my faith. Help me to just to focus on you instead of focusing on the world and focusing on me and being selfish and all that stuff. I need your help, Lord. Amen. Okay. Wow. What? That's 50 bucks. $50.40. 720 pounds. 140 net ton. $50.40. I will take it. Well... I'll earn it, and then I'll take it. <laughs> ah, thanks, God. And thank you for hanging out with me.